my channel i'm kaylee for those of you that hasn't seen this face before please do subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you guys are notified whenever i upload a new video yeah. today's video i am joined by the gorgeous oyanja follow her on instagram at underscore oyanja.04 underscore and she's also a youtuber so also uh, subscribe to her youtube channel at being oyanja period yeah. <laughs> okay, okay so today's video we'll be doing a never have i ever because I've never done it, and you guys sure, never try. We are not dry, okay? We're sipping on some wine. We're sipping on some wine. So yeah, the conditions are that if you have done whatever the situation is, you take us the wine. Yeah. Yeah. So we're not gonna, you know, waste time. We're gonna get right into it. Okay. First one: Never have I ever injured myself while trying to impress a girl or boy I was interested in. I have never, I, w I will never, okay, because I'm not about to go to such extents to try and get some boys' attention. Yeah. I think I'm just gonna tell you, I'm that, I'm so straightforward with everything. I'll probably just tell you, yeah. but I like you. Listen, this yeah. is what I'm feeling, okay? <laughs> injuries, you, they live on you forever. Like, I have, <laughs> I have so many injuries, maybe. You I do? I have so many injuries from things I did, but not like to impress a girl, okay. just like from things I did. Yeah. They're still, you know, on my body. On your body. Yeah. yeah. So, no. I know, no, we're also big, man. Yeah, we're big. You just tell the person, you know, I'm feeling you. Okay, do you feel me? Okay. If age. not, oh, no, we move. Ah, oh, guys, we're big. This is 2021. Bruh. The second one, never have I ever had to run to save my life. I have. I have, guys. Yo. Mm -mm. Little, little um, story time. So this is what happened. You guys remember, it's a nice name. Told you this one is nice, but do you guys remember that? Do you remember that that protest that was going on? Like, like I don't know what it was about, me, mm. but it was about like rape going on in a oh. yeah, that whole situation. So mm. I went most mm. that whole protest. You know, we must there doing mm. the things that need to be done, and then after that, and then and then they came those like those India people and then mm. doing like um, tear gases tear and gas. whatnot. So we were walking towards the police mm. and the NDF people, and then they threw the tear gas. So I had to run. Mm. With my eyes closed, guys, in town, I did not know where I was going. I feel like I was running for my life, guys. It wasn't something serious, but I was running for my life. Mm. Because otherwise, I could have been crawled up there and people were getting beaten. Yeah, or arrested. And, or arrested. You see, so I was running for my life, you could say. <laughs> I have, I definitely have multiple times. Um, multiple times? So many times. Probably four. four this is what my fourth year in, in Bentuk. So, four times I have run. For my life in tell, Bentuk. Tell me about like, or tell us about your most tra like dramatic. Um, or... Okay, where it happened in March this year. So I came from like a real house. Know the Wasia Kutako and 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 independence robots. I want to say I know it, but trust me, when it comes to streets, I know nothing. Do you know where you know campus, the one of uh, Harry uh, Yeah. Okay, so they are roadblocks just not far from there. Okay. But not uh, close to Komastao, but close to Windhoek North. Okay, cool. Yeah, okay. yeah. Mm. So from those robots, I was in a taxi. Another guy got on the taxi, but then the way he got on the taxi is like he knows the taxi driver. You oh know? my god! So then you, in my head, I'm like, okay, let me just keep the thingy open, the one that locks the door. Yeah, the chuck lock open. Yeah. And then we drove. We came up to my street now. It's still on the highway. And then I realized that another guy got on the car. Oh my god! So you were literally like in a cab of three men. Three men. So I decided I'm gonna get off. Then I told the, the taxi driver, no, just drop me at the robots, the um, um, uh, Rhino Park and in the, um, Jose Kutako robots. Yeah, yeah. He's like, no, you said NIP. And I, said, I never said NIP. Drop me here. No. Then there was a whole commotion, commotion going on. I mean, I, the patrol went on. I opened the door. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I opened the door and then I had one foot out. And then now this guy is holding it. Grabbed my arm. You are lying. I guy. That was, that's when I knew. It's either I get out or I don't see the day of light ever again in my life. Oh my god. I got out, I oh I fell in I hey. fell and then I hurt my my left foot. Mm. So now this guy's still holding on to me and then I oh kinda god. like yanked most my, my elbow. Yeah. Then he, that's when he was pulling out like a knife or whatever. Oh my god. That's now when I just jumped out and then I hurt my other leg and oh then I my ran. God. I ran I ran Why up to the your, house. Oh my god. <laughs> No. I went up to the house, I opened because I had the keys. So I opened the door, I ate butter, and then 
I went up to the room. My sister was like busy with schoolwork. I think she was on a Zoom meeting or something like that. And then I'm like trying to tell her like, Bra, I was almost kidnapped or something like that. But I kind of distracted also from school because she's, yeah. And I'm here breathing heavy and yeah. So that for me that was the most traumatic because um, it was kind of like a trigger to the first to to the second no to the third time that I had to run for my life. Oh. But then the third time I didn't actually run because I was being held by my point. Why are you so in a taxi? Was it also another taxi no, situation? No, you know what? They, so, yo, we were standing outside. I was waiting for my mom. My sister decided she's going to buy credit. So I was like, okay, I also need credit. My mom was in the room. She was visiting from Ocha, but mm. she doesn't stay here. Yeah. Um, and this is the, that side of the nurse's home. Yeah. Literally the street that is in front of the nurse's home. So then, um, now I was waiting for my mom because she was like, no, you guys can't go alone. What if, what if something happens to you? Mm. Oh, boy, no, I was standing outside waiting for her. Did I kind of just drive into our street and then people started getting off randomly? Randomly. Then a guy uh, grabbed me with knife, well, holding like uh, the knife, like I think I have a scar somewhere. Holding the knife, man, trying to stab me, and then he said, Give me your phone. And I was, because when I saw that guy, my first instinct was run. When I'm looking at my legs, I'm still standing at the same spot. I'm like, <laughs> What is this? <laughs> so, yo. Yeah, so. That's, yo, I feel like. I have many. Yeah, no, that's so much, you guys. I feel like I've been in Minto for like, this is my ninth year now. And I thank God that, you know, that hasn't happened to me because I feel like that is literally what I'm most scared Mm -hmm. of. And I literally pray every time before Mm -hmm. I get onto a game because, hello, you never know. You You really never know. Yeah. Sure, but I'm glad you're okay today. I mean, hello. Never have I ever broken something at a friend's house and never told them. I don't think I know. I feel like you will know. Um, cut my own hair. Never have I ever cut my own hair. Cut, I have. Cut your own hair how? 2018, I did a whole big chop. You cut off, off completely. It was not the plan. The plan was to get my hair trimmed. <laughs> <laughs> to get my hair trimmed. Yeah. And then, um, unfortunately, I, it just, it just went. I feel like oh not cut not I don't know not cut not cut my hair off entirely I feel like I trim my ends mm. I yeah, I'm trying to learn how to take care of my hair so like I just trim my ends and it's terrible but I'm learning mm. so that's that's the only thing I did like, yeah. I have done that's yeah. crazy yeah. I don't think it's crazy what oh, I did was crazy okay no big chop but big I chop. could never and imagine my hair was healthy so I don't know why did you do it. it? As for me, I guess I could never do a picture because as for me, I have the hookies in the head. So I could never... <laughs> I have corners in his head, okay? So, yeah. <laughs> okay. Never have I ever traveled with my partner. I have. I have. We went to... If you haven't... If you... Oh! <laughs> okay, wait. I have not. I have traveled to go to my partner. And my, tra- my partner has traveled to come. But I've never traveled with my partner. I feel like I have, like, I don't know, maybe two, three times. Yeah. Um, if you haven't watched that video, if you're not from my channel, Stop okay, right now, please. Just go. go and watch that just Montero exit, video. Exit, then get away, okay? Exit yeah. Right now, please. <laughs> so, yeah, that was one. But I feel like before that, we traveled, we went to his village for wedding. Yeah, so like, but it wasn't like a long thing. It was just him and the totals, and I was it was on so it wasn't far. Mm. What else? I think that's it. Never have I ever been electrocuted. What happened? Why is your life crazy, bro? <laughs> what? <laughs> I haven't. I what? Let me tell you. You know when you are in detention? Okay, Namibian versions of detention. Yeah? It's not that exciting. So what? then. <laughs> It's not okay for us. What school were you at first of all? Um, Ocha Secondary School. Okay. So, um, then we had detention and it was during exams. So then they put us in a hall. Now imagine we're about 60 something learners getting detention in a big hall. Yo. Ocha. So detention is supposed to be like for three, four, five. Yeah, and, you know, no electricity in town. Like in Ocha, like electricity was almost gone for the day, during the day. Some of us didn't know when it was going to come back. Okay, I don't know what truth or day game I got myself into. Then I had to like play with the lights for like oh two minutes or something. God. Did the electricity not come back and find me there? You got electric- I got electrocuted. But I didn't, 
it wasn't a crazy experience where my head it was, was just like ending. It was just yeah, like, it's just oh, the, the yeah. Well, I think okay, okay to think of that. Mm-hmm. I think I have also. Like, let me just take. I just nothing crazy because it was just like my sister. My sister used to stay in Rocky, mm-hmm. and their house is like. <laughs> what did you do? And their house is like oh, that. It has those electric fences around it, right? So like. I was at the door and I was feeling. Uh, okay, I was at the door at the small gate, right? It has like electric fence and then like electric fences mm. all, all around it. So, in my head, it was my first time in winter, guys. Okay, so I was like, guys, do these things really work, right? <laughs> you know that you can just jump into your neighbor's house, but here we're like, okay, do these things really work? So I touched it and I got electrocuted, but it wasn't like. Mm-hmm. But it was just like, oh, wait, it works. And I then think, I just went to the house. I think I probably also touched that thing. That yeah. electrical. I probably did. <laughs> I was a very naughty child. A chilled naughty Not like my sister. My sister is a... Out of the world, naughty. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, never have I ever stolen something from a restaurant. Mm-hmm. You know those things? <laughs> No guys ne if you if you if you see if you see Kaylee ne if you see her on Instagram if you see her like her videos you know her YouTube videos she's so calm she's so calm but right now I'm just seeing that Mahan you know her life is actually crazy and she's actually crazy what <laughs> you know those uh, sugar shandies man on the in the cup I am lying you're lying I like Lauren Shune if you're watching you can watch we we took them. I took them at Mac and Beans in Vanil. I took them at the KFC Shandy in Ocharongo. Why? Because I don't know. Okay, the one at KFC, it was my cousin. And then they were like, these things are for display. And I'm like, no, you're supposed to put more sugar when, I mean, when you, when you get your coffee. Yeah, yeah. And then, I don't know, for some reason, he convinced us that it's too much for the table so we can take extra. And we're traveling. So we're like, just take, nobody's going to miss them. And I was just also extra and being not oh in. Oh But the one of mac and beans, we actually ate most of them. And then we're like, we don't have sugar at our houses. <laughs> so, yeah. It was not, it's just sugar. It's just sugar. It was just sugar. It was just sugar. I don't think I've taken any napkins or spoons or anything. Like oh my God. Don't tell me your baby was taking like napkins and spoons. <laughs> but they really have cute napkins though. They actually do, hey? They, to, they, they do. do. Yeah. yeah. They actually yeah. really do. <laughs> to think about it. I mean I don't I don't mind stealing spoons. I'm yeah. just saying. I would I think I would recommend yeah, you. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um never have I ever fainted. Yo. <laughs> okay, you know what? Because because really because of the character, I feel like you must just faint something. <laughs> Your life is just scary, bruh. <laughs> what happened? Fainted. I always okay. wanted to faint, guys. Just the feeling. This I'm gonna make this one as short as possible. We're in the hostel. A lot of my adventures happened when I was in the hostel. We're in the hostel. We got locked in um the foyer. It was breakfast time. We were late. Okay, I wasn't late. Technically, I wasn't late. I went to the DH already. DH is standing hall. I went to the DH. But then I forgot my bag. So I decided, okay, let me just go back and go get my bag. Okay. Then the superintendent came and locked the, the door. So by the time <laughs> I got down to the stairs, everybody was locked inside. And I don't know, for some reason, the time I started feeling weird, man. But yeah. I didn't pay attention because I'm uh-uh, not fine. So then one of my friends were like, why can someone not just faint, you know? Can someone not just faint so we can get out of this? And oh, I was okay. like... <laughs> Then I was like, I can, I can, I can lean and then lay down and then it almost look like you fainted. I fainted. Yeah. And then she was like, okay, nah, fine, let's do that. Do you need a bag? Do you need a what? I have a jersey. Do you need my jersey yeah. made to make most the scene look real? And I was like, no, it's fine. I'll just sit down. You know, in my head, I was even preparing myself to sit down and just lay down. Did I not just lean on someone's bag and then I go? The people probably didn't they, they didn't they probably like, really, like, this child, you know, yeah. you need to get into acting school, yeah. like, let's send it to New York or something. Yeah. But I was out. My sister panicked, and then the best friend, she was too, uh, Anushka, she was like, because I was like, uh, uh, scratching my, my neck, man. Mm. And, and 
like why you complaining? Like, why are you complaining? Because like. You you mean, like I fell yeah. and I had most my backpack yeah. on, so then I didn't hate my head. But yeah. then while I was falling, I was just like scratching myself and stuff like that. Oh, and weird. it's like I was paining for some reason. Oh. I just had chest pains, mm-hmm. and then she now ripped my shirt, shirt. And I was a last year, so we were wearing yellow shirts. Mm-hmm. She ripped my shirt. The buttons were flying everywhere. Mm-hmm. And then we called my mom. We got to the hospital. I couldn't walk. We got to the hospital and they put me in a wheelchair and then they what? did all the tests, nothing was wrong with me. Um apparently my sugar levels were, were low but then oh. it, it was the normal um sugar. rate. Uh-huh. So I don't and know. Maybe your sugar levels were low. And well, because I heard that those people that suffer from like low blood sugar they, they tend to fade. Yeah. So maybe I do something. So it's fine, you can still the sugar. Yeah. You can still the sugar yeah. from because you need so I'm it. helping myself you You're guys. helping yourself actually. <laughs> So that's I, my painting. I have it, guys. I like where I am right now. I don't wish to paint, mm-hmm. but before I've always wanted to paint just to see how it feels. Like. So it's it's scary when you when 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 it happens like out of the blue because it was most not planned. Yeah, yeah. it was supposed the to be was the yeah. yeah, but that happened, and then my mom yeah. was like, "Your child, what's wrong with you?" Sure. Yeah, that's really scary. But yeah, okay. <laughs> um, accidentally said I love you to someone. <laughs> accidentally. I haven't. But you know those people like they, they do things accidentally and then because they don't wanna be wrong or like they don't wanna um get punished for what they did, even if it, it was an accident, then they go back and tell yeah. them. Yeah. So now I'm the type of person. So then I'll go tell the person that I said I love you, but it was an accident. Then yeah. the person was feeling it. Accident. Like, accident. How do you just, how do you just I say I love you? Like, no. I accident. What? So so I try to be very rational and yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Never have I ever had uh, a crush on a friend's parent. <laughs> okay. No. I have a parent. A parent. But not the male. I don't have crushes on like male parents. I always have crushes on like female parents. Are you very sexual? No, not sexual crushes. Just like my you find so pretty. Oh my god. <laughs> you find um a friend's parents that are like well off even though they have their own personal dilemmas and because mm-hmm. everybody goes through things you never know right mm-hmm. and i'm an observant human being so if i observe you and i get to pick out which ah this person has problems but then the way they carry themselves you know the mm-hmm. way they they talk to people then i probably have a crush on your parent um never have i ever gone vegan i could never ever go no, vegan i'm a i'm a hero. I'm a hero. It's in the blood. I have to eat meat. Even if it's just like, I, I don't eat a lot of red meat. Mm. I don't eat like, I, if you give me like a small, small portion of red, I'll be fine. Mm. Nee. But I can like go vegan. How? What are you going to tell you when they're eating like when you're eating bread and you're like, I'm going to eat bread and I'm going to eat bread. Bruh, how, like, what? How, how? Okay, not, not to judge the vegan people yeah. or the vegetarian people. You guys are doing great. Because, I'm stuck, guys. <laughs> But then but, with vegan also, I feel like the only extreme with vegan is like, you can't eat most anything produced by uh, uh, an animal. So like milk, eggs. So you can't even eat yogurt? Y- yogurt, all that. So vegetarian at least, like, me had this But they're nothing. Hmm. Vegan is like... What do they eat? Uh, plants, plant-based food. I'm that allergic sucks. to a lot of uh, fruits and vegetables, so I cannot. Really? Mm. I cannot do that. I don't I think I I kill myself like that. I personally just can't because I mean they really have mm-hmm. you know, now. I I just can't. Never oh. have I ever worn glasses without lenses. You know the the lenses inside the glasses. Yeah. Worn glasses. Ah, oh. I feel like we all have done it, guys. It was a trend at Ocho at Ocho High School when I was grade nine. I feel like it was a trend everywhere. Yeah. I feel like yeah, I even have some right now, like we compose like just the the glasses without the lenses. Yeah. Never have I ever complained <laughs> about my ex. <laughs> Yo. Let me, let me think. <coughs> I have. Wait. Um. I have. Yo. 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 I have definitely. I have five. I have guys. I yeah. def. I feel like if you're a girl now. I, can, I, can I have try. one still, like not, cause all the others are like we are like cool, like we are those cool exes. Could never, don't, don't, don't come at me if you're my ex. Don't come and be friends with me, please. Uh, oh. I probably complain about each and every ex of mine to one of, uh, only like my friends. Oh, yeah. Oh, but I know, guys. Me, I've been through hell. 
el bueno pues all, all. I have so many stories now. Ah, sí, ya, okay, ya. Yeah. <laughs> okay, um, never have I ever been kicked out of a, a pub club no. or bar or public setting. I haven't. Guys, I'm not that crazy. Clearly, it was not my fault. Let's first start there. <laughs> Whose fault was it? So I feel like it was partly your fault. Also, it was okay. not. It was not. Okay. Long story short, I chilled with my sister again. If I have not said this on Instagram or some way out there, your older sister. No, she's younger than me, but she's more like outgoing than I am. Oh, okay. So, um, I've chilled with her friends like on numerous occasions, but this one time, like we went to um a guest house, and the lady was welcoming at first, and then all of a sudden. Obviously, they are stories to why she became bitter at the end. But then she just came to us and she said, "Get back and get out." And then I was like, and I told one of the guys that were there that were with, "I've never been kicked out of a club." <laughs> and they were laughing and they were like, "Well, welcome to the squad," because to them, it's like every 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 time they chill, yeah. it's like they expect it. If they if they don't get get kicked out, it's like, "Boy, we didn't chill properly." So random. <laughs> you know, never have I ever been. Had a surprise had a party. Surprise party thrown thrown for me. me. I haven't. I haven't. I don't know if I have now. I think was it this year. I don't know. This year was like a surprise party, but it was literally like my friends literally just showed up, mm. and then we were just sitting here and we were just like chilling, having like a few drinks, smoking pipe or whatever. But before that, I feel like I get so depressed around my birthday mm. that I tend to not celebrate my birthday. I have once, <clears throat> only once, because I'm nosy when it comes to my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> anything about oh my God. me, anything about my farewell birthday, even the comp- I'm the nose, I'm the nosiest person you find on earth. Like I would, I'm I good. would investigate. I'll take your phone, like especially my mom's phone, because it doesn't have a password or it does have a password. But then we know her password, so like I'll, it's no use. It's no use. <laughs> so I will probably get into her phone, read all the text, look for people that will probably be saying, "Ah, man, I'm the sugar cake." Like I'll be the one uh, ordering the cake or what about this theme? I'm the nosy when it comes to my birthday. You know, or anything oh, that has to do. Do you really like celebrating your birthday? I, not that I like celebrating my birthday. I just don't like being surprised for my birthday or anything that has to. You know those people. Kelly, like, then it's not a surprise anymore. Yeah, that's that's why it was only it all happened once. <laughs> so they never like surprised you. They anymore. tried. They tried before that. They tried, but they never succeeded, right? Okay. But they gave no. But really, they gave like hints because my dad would never ask me what would you drink if you at a at a like party and my mom your parents, would, your parents allow you to drink yeah they do and mom will probably call me after this video <laughs> trust me <laughs> yeah so that's i think the only reason why they succeeded is because i didn't know half the time i probably found out the day that oh, they threw surprise the i threw surprise uh, surprise parties for a living i threw surprise pa- i threw my sister's surprise party if you did not watch that please go back Go back and watch it. Watch it. I'm gonna watch it also. Okay. Oh wait, I watched it actually. That was a surprise birthday party. Like even the she didn't even know her brothers were coming. The guys that she invited to the club. Yeah, yeah. They traveled from Zoko, and then I threw my mom a surprise birthday party. We threw actually me and my sister. My brother wasn't with me. My sister threw her uh, surprise birthday party. Um, never have I ever uh brought someone to meet my parents. I definitely have. I haven't brought them. I mean, I haven't brought him, but he came. I do, I do. Kind of Are you with a person today? Mm-hmm. I kind of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm officially, I'm yet officially to bring my boyfriend to meet my mom. And maybe my dad. So I'm, I'm actually yet to bring my boyfriend to meet my parents. Mm. But he met my stepdad. Mm. I'm not sure if my stepdad fit to Shabbat as my boyfriend because mm. I was not about to be like, Papa, this is, this is my No. Mm. Then the entire holiday then I was going to be killed. Mm. Be quiet. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Yeah, so yeah, my mom is still here. Like, he literally went to my grandmother's funeral mm. and my mom didn't get to meet him. Meet him because I don't know, it's just something else, but yeah, how is it for you? It was a very different experience. It is, it was different because there are so many things that happened that I didn't expect to happen. I happened so okay. It was a wedding, man. Well, my aunt's wedding. Guys, how did you take him to your wedding? Guys, I feel like I'll just bury myself physically, I'll just start digging my own grave because I can't, I'll be too shy. It was my aunt's wedding in Ocho, and like, I I'm not the one that invited him to the wedding. My mom invited 
him to the wedding, but she will deny this. <laughs> she will deny this. Mama, if you deny this, I don't know you. I really, but she will deny this because she's going to say, no, it's your boyfriend, so what's the point of you going to a wedding? You're not having a person. I'm going to mommy, if, I know, I will say, I will personally just say this video to my mom. And I'm like, mommy, did you hear what she said about her mom? Please. But no, she invited him. She was like, no, invite um, Wenji, we call him Wenji. That's not his name. What is his name? No, we're not doing that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, at Friday, I was busy with the bright stuff. Like, I was helping my okay. mom with the okay. bright stuff. Yeah. So, like, we didn't really get to spend time together. Mm-hmm. And then, the Saturday, we went to the wedding. We took pictures. I have pictures, I will show you. Okay. We took pictures. And then, um, Saturday evening, after the whole entire wedding, before the reception, they set us down. Mm. My mom and my dad. Oh my god, guys, kill me. And then we had a whole entire talk about it. And the person even you that invited him. What? Never have I ever ruined someone's vacation. Kaylee. <laughs> Kaylee. My sister's vacation. <laughs> what then, did you do? Okay, wait, holiday and vacation are the same thing. Yeah. Right? Okay, so we. Uh, oh we cut the Yes, we cut the Oh, and <laughs> I wanted to see my grandmother like that. Um, that holiday, like after, literally after oh, I wanted to go to her village. Okay. And my dad was like, no. <laughs> father, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Not father. And my dad was like, no. <laughs> We're going home. So then I was in a different mood. Like I was having mood swings. I was depressed. I was just, I was just a total different human being. And then my sister was most not um, happy because I was depressed most of the time. Oh, yeah. I didn't even. Which are like in the morning when you're at the village, you have to wake up and then go make the fire, make tea for your parents, yeah. make breakfast. Yeah, yeah. You know. maybe I did like... nothing. I slept the whole entire holiday that one day. How long was the holiday? It was probably two weeks or three weeks. And you destroyed your sister's holiday. How? Because she, we do things together. Oh, yeah, we'll do well, obviously together. because you were like then, mm-hmm. so you also just like she was also down. But but then like in a way she kind of uh, like she had done? time for herself. No, oh, like had time for oh. herself. So I don't think I ruined it that bad, but I know like yeah. yeah so and we had plans, so that's so that's know. why. So that's why. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. Next question. Next question. But. <laughs> Never have I ever thrown up on a roller coaster. No, I have not. I have thrown up after being on a roller coaster, not on a roller coaster. A roller coaster? Do you have a roller coaster? You know, it's all in the showgrounds. In the showgrounds. Oh. Never have I ever lied about lied about a family member dying as an excuse to get out of doing something. I haven't. I haven't. Guys, that is serious. Okay, don't lie about it. I have not. But if you have to get away from something because mm-hmm. the just yeah, just do it. But yeah. we, but we haven't. We haven't. Yeah. Would you ever? It depends. It depends. Why am I lying? It depends, man. Why am yeah. I lying about it? Like, you know, why, why am I using that excuse? Mm-hmm. It depends. Yeah. And never have I ever heard my partner snore. I have. Yes. Okay. But he's cute. It's, it's a he's cute, so cute little snore, right? So just cute. like, okay, he barely snores. So that when he's snoring, it's always just, for me, it's always like, and I took so like cute. a video nail when I, like I had a yellow nails and I was like rubbing. Oh. Bonus question: Never have I ever received or given a lap dance. We don't need to say no more. Mm-mm. We don't. How many times have you done it? I'll just drink to that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay. I feel like I've done it like so many times mm-hmm. only with my current partner because I'm so comfortable with him. Mm-hmm. I was never this comfortable with anyone. We are here, we are at the end of the video. So, guys, now, because you've made it to this to the end of the video, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Subscribe, guys. I don't even know why you're watching without subscribe. Subscribe! I mean, I mean, it's free. It's free! You're literally helping a black woman grow. That's a big like Avi, Avi has, it was Avi. Mm, Avi, 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 to her channel. Subscribe to her channel. You will see the both of us in a few and more, few more so videos. So do keep out, do be, to do be on the lookout. Yeah. And um, her video is probably up right now. So please also go to her channel and check out the video. I am definitely featured. And she is. See you next time. See you guys. Adios.